For most wildlife in eastern Canada, winter is a time for slowing down. Some choose to hibernate, some go into a state of torpor, but others remain active, very active indeed. One day in early February, while I was watching the birds at our feeder, I noticed a lot of squirrel activity in the trees across the street. I pointed my camera upwards and I noticed three grey squirrels chasing each other about. All of a sudden, one of the males mounted a female and he began to mate. Brevity must have been this male's middle name as the whole thing lasted under a minute. Once the male dismounted, the female climbed up to a higher branch and began to groom herself. She then exhibited some interesting behaviors, and I had a pretty good idea what was going on, but I wanted to do some research just to make sure. One website uh, that was very helpful, I'll list it in the description below, uh, it described pretty much exactly what I saw. It says here that there will typically be multiple males chasing a single female, but will only have a single copulatory event that lasts under a minute, typically 30 seconds. So this guy was no slouch in the squirrel community. Uh, in fact, he was probably painfully average. Here's where things get a little bit wild. The male will actually leave behind a copulatory plug inside of the female, also known as a semen plug. This is a common strategy in some animals that will help keep your semen in and competitor semen out. Some plugs can stay inside the female for several hours, but most of the time the female will remove the plug herself after 30 seconds. Should the male squirrel be offended by this? Who's to say? I, I know why it might be. One study showed that 60% of the females will actually eat the copulatory plug once it's removed. And I guess this female was one that chose not to go that route. So even though this all happens very quickly, the mating takes 30 seconds, the plug is removed after 30 seconds, the semen still gets to where it needs to be for fertilization to occur. Gray squirrels exhibit a form of polygyny where the males form a hierarchy, and the male at the top of that hierarchy gets to mate with the female. Gray squirrels do not form any kind of pair bond with one another, and the males only show interest in the females when they are in estrus. The females will run along common branches forming these little scent highways, and the males pick up on that, and they spring into action. Resources are plentiful, and the Winter conditions are not too bad. Gray squirrels will typically mate in the winter time between the months of December and February. If they have a good spring, they'll mate again in the summertime and have a second litter. This is usually done by older and more experienced females. After fertilization takes place, the gestation period is 44 days. The mother squirrels typically like to nest in large tree cavities, but if these are hard to come by, uh, they'll make their own nests called drays. And drays are made out of twigs and leaves and things, and you'll you'll see them everywhere in the winter time, especially where the foliage is gone and the, you find them at the top of deciduous hardwoods. As with everything in nature, things get more interesting the closer you look, and the mating habits of the gray squirrel is no exception. 